my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day as usual. In today's video, I have kind of a random haul for you guys. I have a couple pairs of shoes, I have two dresses, a pair of pants, I have a makeup item, and then I even have just a little something from Louis Vuitton that I share. It's kind of all over the place, but I thought I would include everything in one collective haul. I put a poll on Instagram to see if this is something you guys wanted to see, so I thought I would film it for you. I know that for me, I love seeing just like random hauls and things people are getting. Now, I will be honest, I have tried to be a little bit better when it comes to my shopping lately. As you know, I have been working from home, so I'm not really going into the office that much, but one thing I really did need to stock up on are some summer shoes, and Steve Madden actually had a sale over Memorial Day, and so I ended up buying a couple shoes, and I'm really, really excited about them because I've had my eye on them for quite some time, but I was like, I don't want to buy them until they go on sale. So I'm going to share those with you. I think I have four pairs of shoes, two dresses, a pair of pants, a Louis Vuitton item, and a makeup item. So it's kind of all over the place, very random. So if that sounds like something you guys would like to see, make sure to stick around. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button. And if you want to see what I picked up in this random haul, then keep watching. Okay, I think I want to go ahead and I want to start with the dresses that I picked up. So I actually picked up two dresses. Well, I actually picked up three dresses from Buddy Love. One I have already worn. I will put it up on the screen now. It was a beautiful like tie-dye dress, but I wanted to include items in this video that you haven't seen yet. And so I was perusing the Buddy Love website and I will be honest, their dresses are a little more expensive. So I would recommend buying them when they are having a sale. But you guys know that I love like watercolor and tie-dye and pastels and those types of things. I saw this dress right here by Buddy Love. It is called Cotton Candy Skies, but look at these beautiful colors. You have the pink and the blue. It is like a high-low midi dress, so it comes right below your knee and it's longer in the back. It does have spaghetti straps, which are adjustable, and it is a little more low cut. So I think I you could wear this to like a nice summer wedding. I'll probably wear this to a date night with my husband in the summer. It is lined, so it is a thicker material, but it's just beautiful. I absolutely fell in love with the colors, and I thought it was just really, really different and unique. It's really flowy, and you can wear it a little more casual with flat sandals, or you can dress it up a little more more with some high heels, but I just thought this dress was absolutely beautiful. So I picked that one up. Another dress that I picked up, and I want to say I saw this one last year, but I didn't end up getting it last year, and they still had it on the website this year, so I picked it up. And it was this long, this is a maxi dress, and how cute is that? It almost looks like it has like little stars on it. It almost looks like little fireworks almost. But I saw this dress again on Whitney Rife. She is a fashion blogger and she looks so beautiful. She had it on last year and they had it on the website. And I thought that this would be perfect for uh, Memorial Day or July 4th. Just really, really cute if you're going to an event. It is a maxi dress. Now, keep in mind, I, in the summer months, do wear a lot of dresses. I do own shorts, but I'm gonna be honest, I mostly wear dresses because I just find them to be the most comfortable and the coolest in the summer because sometimes I find that when I wear shorts, it can, they can kind of ride up a little bit and they're not really the most comfortable. So if you see in my pictures that I have a lot of dresses on, that's why I typically gravitate towards like midi, maxi dresses, you know, sun dresses, and I just thought this one was so cute. It does have a spaghetti strap and it's more so like straight so it's not really going to be like form fitting or anything so I actually think this would be a good one to take to a barbecue if you know you're going to eat a lot because it definitely is a little more forgiving. I did find it to be rather long on me. I am five foot three so just keep that in mind. You're probably going to have to wear some wedges. I found that as well when I purchased the other watercolor dress. I definitely had to wear wedges if I wore flats. I definitely would have had to get it altered or I would have had to hold 
hold my dress. So this is really cute. It is lined, and again, I think it is perfect for um, any type of red, white, and blue event. Okay, now I wanna mention a pair of jeans. So I have been on the hunt for a good pair of white jeans, but you guys, I have such a hard time finding pants because I have a smaller waist, but I have a big old booty, and I just can't find jeans that like fit me that well. So I went to Express, and they have these jeans. They are called the Slim Super High Rise, but they're Lux Comfort, and they are white jeans. And at the bottom, they have these, um, frills. They are super, super stretchy. Again, they are high-waisted. Now, I do own um, white jeans, but they are more of a skinny jean style. This one is a little more wide at the bottom. I don't know if I would call them quite mom jeans. They might be mom jeans a little bit, but they do come a little high. But the thing I love is they are super, super stretchy. I wear a size 6 regular in these, but they're very, very comfortable. So if you're looking for a good pair of white pants definitely check out express another place i wanted to get some new white jeans but they were out was american eagle they have some really cute ones as well but if you i want to ask you guys your opinion so my favorite pair of jeans are by frame they're really really stretchy and i like express jeans as well but if you guys are a little curvier let me know or if you guys have like hips or a booty what is a good place to buy jeans i have tried so many but it's so hard to find jeans that I really really like but so far these seem like they're really comfy really stretchy so and they are high-waisted as well if you're looking for that so I picked those up and these were actually 40% off when I bought them so I think I got them they were originally 88 I think I got them for around maybe like $50 or something like that so I'm excited to have a new pair of jeans okay so now let's go ahead and get into shoes I have four pairs of shoes that I want to share with you then after the shoes I'll share with you the makeup item and then we will save the Louis Vuitton item for last okay so as I stated I was a little bit on a shoe kick from Steve Madden because there were a bunch of bunch of summer shoes that I wanted to get but I definitely wanted to wait for a sale because a lot of these shoes they run around $80 or so and I don't know that I just feel like it's a little pricey for me I know you're like Amber you like luxury handbags and you think $80 is pricey but for some reason for shoes I don't like to pay a lot but with them being on sale that was a little more reasonable so I did get these shoes during the Memorial Day sale I was actually at the beach doing a little shopping so the first shoes that I picked up are these cuties right here these are the travel sandals and they have these beautiful like this beautiful pearly detail now you guys know that I own these in the tan the nude color I own them in the clear what else um, I think I own them in another style too I love these not only do they look like really dressy and cute but they are so comfortable they really really are and I loved the elegant pearl detail I just thought that was so pretty especially if you wear that with like a nice white dress so I picked these up thought they were super super cute so if you guys have been on the fence about picking up the travel sandals in any of them definitely do it they are my favorite they're really popular last year and they've come around again this year and it's because not only are they cute but they're so comfortable again just try them I promise you you will love them so I got those and then another one that I got I have always I've been on the hunt so I'll be honest so I of course would love to purchase some of the Hermes sandals however I don't want to pay that kind of money for shoes because I really like beat my shoes up. I do. And I find that with handbags, if I invest money in handbags, obviously those are going to stay good for years. But shoes, they get dirty. You know, it's hard to keep them clean. Like, so I don't know. I just don't usually invest much in shoes. But I, I did like the look of the Hermes shoes, the Hermes Iran sandals. So I saw these from Steve Madden. They're called the Grease Sandal. This is in the color Cognac. It's really, really pretty. And I think that this is going to look nice in the summer with dresses. Um, it still has the same like similar H style as the Iran sandals, but I also think this is going to look nice with like a straw bag, like I said, dresses. So I definitely wanted to get a pair of these. They looked super, super comfy as well. And you know, in the summer months, I also take my dog on a lot of walks. So I always like to make sure that 
you know, I can find shoes that are a little more comfy. So I got those. And sticking with that style, I actually got another one in that style. And these are the grease sandals, except this is in the gold. Now these, I have been looking for forever. I really, really wanted like a gold pair to go with some of my uh, handbags. So this one will go really well with like some of my Louis Vuitton bags and then this one will go well with some of my other bags. But like I said, I've been looking for a gold pair and I thought these were just really pretty and elegant. You know, you can kind of dress these up or dress them down, but again, they are flat so that when I'm walking the dog, they will be comfortable and they still have that really, really pretty like Hermes vibe, but obviously for like one sixth of the price. Okay, so another sandal, and again, these are all from Steve Madden. Now, this sandal that I picked up, you guys, I was the most excited about these. These were one of those shoes, like I've had my eye on them for weeks, but I keep saying, Amber, do you need them? No, you don't need them, you don't need them. And then when I was at the beach and I saw Steve Madden was having a Memorial Day sale, I said, okay, maybe you do need them. And these are called the Leandra Clear. Now I haven't seen these shoes on anyone. Um, I'm sure there are tons of people that have them, but I haven't seen them. This was the first time I had seen them on the website, but you guys, how beautiful are these? They are flat. They're almost like the jelly material similar to the travel sandals, but they have like little rhinestones and then they have like little studs. I just thought these were so cute and I thought this was like a great, flat sandal that will be comfortable, but it's also going to elevate your look because it has the rhinestones. Oh my gosh, I was so excited. Now these retailed for around 82, but I did get them for 25% off, but they are so cute, right? But these are the ones out of all the shoes that I was really, really like super, super excited about. Now I do have another pair of shoes that I ordered, but they're not here yet. So I'll go ahead and put a picture up on the screen in case you guys are interested because like usual, everything I mentioned in today's video, I will link down below in case you guys are looking for similar shoes or you're interested in these as well. But I did get the Steve Madden wedges and these look very similar to the travel sandal except they're nude, except they're just more of a wedge. So they're gonna give you a little more of like an elevated height. So I was excited to pick those up. I ordered them like a week and a half ago. I still haven't gotten them yet. So I will share those with you when I get them in but I again I'll put a picture up on the screen so you can see what they look like but that is another item that I ordered but it has yet to come in yet so those are the shoes I got again I got the four Steve Madden to show you the one extra so I guess this is kind of a shoe haul the white pair of pants the two dresses and now let me show you share with you a makeup item I picked up and then after that I will share with you the Louis Vuitton item that I picked up Okay, so this is definitely one of those things that I didn't need, but I couldn't help myself. So as you guys know, Christian Louboutin, or maybe you don't know, Christian Louboutin has a beauty line. Well, they recently came out with a blush and highlighter palette. I think they also came out with some eyeshadows as well. But of course, you know me, I love highlighter and blush, so I opted for that. So it actually comes separately. You buy the palette case separate than the actual refill. So let me show you the case it comes with. First, it comes in this beautiful Christian Louboutin box, very fancy, and you have this really, really pretty red refillable case. If you're not into the red, you can get the black, but I opted for the red because when you think of Christian Louboutin, um, you think of the beautiful red. So this is a refillable case. And then it comes with this here, and this is gonna, um, if you need to refill it, you'll see that it has a little hole right there, and that's what you use. So one side has the studs, and then one side says Louboutin. So you open it up, and it says, from Extina with love. It has a really nice mirror. It's a really, really, you know, sturdy compact. And then um, what you do is I got a refill to go into it and there were a couple different shades that you could choose from but I chose so delicate. This is the Christian Louboutin refill. Let me take it out so I can show you what it looks like. All right, so this is that right there. You can see it comes with two really pretty blushes and then a highlighter and I will do some swatches but first I want to just pop it in so I can show you what it looks like. Okay, so here Here's the case, and then as you can see, it's just like a magnet. Super cute, right? 
but you can see it comes with two blushes and if it's not picking up I will be sure to do an up close view two blushes which are really really pretty and then it has a beautiful highlighter so let me swatch Ooh, you see that swatch right there oh that's so pretty let me do a swatch on my hand for you guys of course I am most concerned with the highlighter all right, so you see those right there, the two blushes and the highlighter in the middle. Really, really pretty. I definitely offhand, I found that the blushes are a little more pigmented than the highlighter, but I wanna try a little of the highlighter on my face. So let me grab a brush, hold on one second. And in case I didn't mention, it does say Christian Louboutin in the highlight there. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit on my brush. Oh, that's nice. What do you think, that's pretty very pretty and glowy and it definitely looks like it's buildable so I will be sure to use this in an upcoming tutorial but keep in mind you can get the refillable case in the black or the red and then I think the blush and highlighter uh, palette comes in a couple different shades but I opted for so delicate and they also have a an eyeshadow palette as well but I thought this was really really cute is it necessary? Did I need it? No, of course I didn't, but I definitely wanted to pick it up. So that was the only makeup item I got. And then let's get into Louis Vuitton and then we will complete this haul. So I picked up a little something from Louis Vuitton. This is not something that I needed, but it is definitely something that I have kind of been eyeing lately. And it is actually a jewelry piece. So I got it directly from the website. It comes in this little box and you get a little drawstring dust bag okay and the item that i picked up is the louis vuitton this is the logo mania bracelet so i already took the one sticker off but you can see that right there and i will insert um close-ups the one side is the beautiful monogram and then the other side is a really pretty like orange color and this one is made in Spain and then in order to secure you just push down on these like little buttons like that you see that and this bracelet comes in two different sizes but I thought this was really cute and I thought that this would look nice with some of my Louis Vuitton handbags so I just grabbed my little Louis Vuitton speedy but see like an example I thought this would look really cute like if I want to wear my speedy or my mini pochette with like a dress or something and then I have this on my wrist so it comes in two sizes I actually got the larger size I think I probably should have gotten a size smaller because it is a little bit big it's the logo mania bracelet lovely monogram band and then it has a little LV logo super super cute and again I got it because I thought it would coordinate really nicely with some of my monogram bags so that is what I picked up from Louis Vuitton I'm really excited about it it's my first jewelry piece from LV and I can't wait to wear it I'm really excited so there you have you guys that is my mini like random haul I hope you enjoyed like usual I will be sure to find all of these items and link them down below in the event you are interested in any of them yourself if you guys are new to my channel make sure to hit that little subscribe button and I'd love to have you follow me on Instagram as well and guys make sure if you haven't already that you check out some of my recent videos I did my dream bag unboxing and then I did a breakdown video of the bag that I picked up up in case you haven't seen it and then I also did a video sharing with you guys how I make money on YouTube a lot of you have messaged me asking that question so I break down four ways of how I make money on YouTube so in the event you guys are interested in starting a YouTube channel yourself or making a little bit of money make sure to check that out because I break it all down for you so thank you guys again for watching have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video